Greetings, my name is Pastor Bill Johnson from the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California, and this is another daily episode of We Are The Church. A very good Tuesday to you, friends. Thanks for stopping by uh, for these handful of minutes. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Today we're reading from the, uh, continuing to read from Psalm 73, and today I'll be reading verse 4 through 14, a lengthy little passage, where the psalmist is describing those he sees in the world who, though they are not walking with God, um, are prospering to a very, very high degree. And this is what the psalmist says. For they have no pain, their bodies are sound and sleek, and they are not in trouble as others are. They're not plagued like other people, and therefore their pride is their necklace. And violence covers them like a garment. And their eyes swell out with fatness, and their hearts overflow with follies. And they scoff, and they speak with malice. Loftily they threaten oppression. They set their mouths against heaven, and their tongues range over the earth. And therefore the people turn and praise them and find no fault in them. And they say, how could God know? Is there knowledge in the most high? Such are the wicked, always at ease. They increase their riches. All in vain, I have kept my heart clean and washed my hands in innocence. For all day long, I have been plagued and I, and I am punished every morning. The psalmist began the psalm by saying he had grown envious of the arrogant and the wicked, those who were not upright in heart. And he goes on to reinforce that by describing everything he sees, the, the pride and the arrogance, the, the sense that I can do whatever I want and there'll be no repercussions for it at all. It's as though God isn't even watching anymore. We've all been there at some time or another. When we're confronted by a, a streak that runs through God's creation in its present form that ha contains a profound sense of inherent unfairness. Those who are walking in the upright way are sometimes the most persecuted. Those who have no cares whatsoever seem to just prosper and prosper. And not only that, they are praised and they are worshipped by those who uh, see them as uh, idols to be revered. It's like a cartoon that I remembered. Uh, Calvin and Hobbes was one of my favorite cartoons some years ago, the little boy and his pet tiger that he could speak with when no one was looking. Calvin was sitting on a swing in the, in the schoolyard swing set, and the schoolyard bully comes up to him and says, get off the swing, Twinkie. And Calvin, in a moment of rare courage, says to him, forget it, Mo, it's my turn. And the next thing you see is this little pile of pulverized Calvin lying on the ground. And he's saying, it's really hard to believe in, uh, divine, uh, in the divine sometimes when certain people are not struck by a lightning. Have you ever been there? I know I have too. We're going to come to see in the next day or so that we still need to take our case to God and we still need to make our way with God. But it is helpful from time to time to, to just look around and to give voice to the things that we see where truly <laughs> unrighteous people are making it hand over fist while we struggle to hang on for the least of it. But here's what I want to say to you today, friends. It's not for us to sort these things out. And the scriptures, particularly the Gospels, are full of, of uh, teachings from Christ that say, in the end, the angels are going to sort it out and it's going to be made right. But for now, ours is just to walk with God and to hang in there. So while we can have these thoughts of the people around us who are, who are walking in, in downright evil ways and still prospering, it's okay to have those thoughts. Just remember, it's not for us to make that right. It's up to God. We take our case to God as we will see the psalmist doing in tomorrow's reading. It just makes me feel better sometimes to say out loud what I've been feeling inside, that some of these things don't really seem fair in this present world. Thankfully for us, we believe in Jesus Christ and our perceptions 
are not limited to what we see in this world. We take the eternal perspective. And that's our good word for today. Let's pray. God, we are asking for strength today to bear with those who scoff at you and get richer and richer in the doing so. We ask for the patience to, de uh, to abide their arrogance and their presence. And we ask for God for strength to withstand those moments when our best work on your behalf seems to be met with frustration and with more work to do. Remind us, O Lord, that you heard the cries of those who were in the mud pits of Egypt and that in the end you sent your only son, Jesus, as, a, as an offering for the life of the world. And so in his name, we praise you this day and ask you to sustain us in these current times. Amen. Friends, thank you so much for stopping by today. And as a reminder, you can find We Are The Church every single Monday through Saturday right here on this YouTube channel. And I'm gonna remind you one more time of our marching orders. Do no harm. Let's do all the good we can and stay in love with God. Do that and I'll see you next time. <laughs>